Sure. My name is Brian Nosek. I'm on the faculty at the University of Virginia in the Department of Psychology, and I'm also director of the Center for Open Science. Uh, and the center uh, has a mission of increasing openness, integrity, and reproducibility of scientific research. Uh, we're essentially a, a nonprofit technology startup, uh, building tools that provide researchers with the ability to do uh, open, transparent research if they like, while supporting their workflow from the conception of ideas all the way through publication. Well, creating tools isn't the biggest challenge. The biggest challenge is getting people to use them. Mm -hmm. uh, and the reason is, is that researchers are busy uh, and they have a workflow that they know uh, and that works well for them. And so asking them to do more is not a viable strategy for any sort of new tool development or requests to move people to openness or transparency. So if researchers are going to make the choice themselves to do it, it needs to be with tools that actually provide them value for how it is they work right now. And that's the biggest challenge to solve, is how do you integrate with the workflows that researchers have as they're doing it. Yeah, the Open Science Framework is a tool that aims, it's a web application, <clears throat> that aims to increase uh, researchers' uh, ease of archiving, maintaining, and documenting their own data, materials, and research process. Uh, so it's meant to solve a problem that researchers have every day, uh, which is, where is that stuff that I did a year ago, two years ago, three years ago? Uh, and can I get the materials from these old projects? Uh, that stuff is hard to keep track of because we have lots of collaborations, different people are contributing. And so this is a central source where people can store all of their materials with their collaborators privately. And what it enables is for researchers to then make that available more publicly. Uh, it doesn't require them to do that, but it allows them to do it very, very easily uh, in order to encourage uh, openness and transparency. What I like most about BITS is the effort to find common solutions across what appear to be very different disciplines and problems. What I have found in conversations with people across the social sciences, but then also through the life and natural sciences, is that everybody thinks that the problems of openness, transparency, and reproducibility are unique to their discipline. And they'll start to explain, well, you're not, you haven't seen this. Let me tell you about this problem. Uh, and it is the identical problem that's happening in other fields. Everybody has different terms. They might have different ways it gets expressed. But the common core is the scientific process and how individual scientists get rewarded uh, for achieving in that process. And it all comes down to publication. That's a commonality across the sciences uh, for how scientists advance. So what I'm most excited about for BITS is this communication among these different disciplines in order to identify common solutions rather than trying to reinvent the same solution with ad hoc strategies in different fields.